One, two, three, four. again to Red Dragon Model Race. Um, hope your weekend was a safe one, productive one. We got a lot of models built, a lot of figures painted, and just generally had a good time. Um, here in the Chicagoland area, we ended up with a pretty significant snowfall yesterday, and of course with that comes people get forgetting how to drive. But um, it's down in the 20s now, so winter's finally arrived here in Chicago. So, with that... I'd like to apologize again. I haven't uh, uploaded a lot of stuff lately. This is the time of year for me when uh, the back just starts, oh, you know, the pain. Those of you with, uh, with you know, implants in your back and stuff, you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, that being said, I'd like to um, talk about here about some group builds. Um, one, you have Steve Sutton's SMKR right here. SMKR, his old school Star Wars build. Um, I have this one here that I'm doing for that. I don't know if I can get it out of here without breaking it. And I picked up some paint for it yesterday. So that's mine. I just need to paint it now. Um, I was going to get real uh, elaborate with the paint job on it, and I still might. But I'm going to go with the browns like a camouflage, you know, different browns and a camouflage color on it. I was thinking like doing a tiger stripe in here and I still might, but we'll see. The other thing is, uh, if you guys were watching the hangout right after the Stymie Syndicate show, you saw that I was working on this. And um, I have the, like here, where I started with, uh, you know, like dirtying her up. So, this is what she's going to look like, and this is where I wanted it. I wanted it a little filthy like that, just like that. Um, I might have to go in on a little bit more on here because this came out a little lighter than this side, so I'm going to have to hit this one one more time. Um, and as you can see, like here, I got all the, you know, the, the weathering on it. I got the... Like here, I got the hoses in there and stuff. Now the problem I'm having here, there's two things. I forgot to paint this here. I'm going to do that right now as soon as I get off of here. When I took the wings off, I had them um, uh, CA glued in there. And I used a debonder to, to loosen them. And they were pretty good. They loosened, came right off. The problem is when they came off, a big chunk of them came off with them. Now, lucky for me, they're all still on the, on the wings. So I'm going to have to pin the wings to the body um, because these are very fragile and they're with mine at least they were they were real um, brittle uh, so I'm gonna have to pin them which is eh, it's no big deal because the the wings weren't gonna move anyway but she'll be done tonight uh, the other thing uh, I just showed you the here for Steve Sutton's SMKR right here Steve Sutton's SMKR old school Star Wars build. That's still running, guys. I think he said he was going to probably uh, extend that a little bit, you know, to, uh, you know, with all the hoopla over the movie and stuff. You also have uh, Chris, uh, I'm sorry, Cliff, uh, Roadhog 0822, right here. Roadhog 0822. His cancer awareness build is still going. Um, now, I know... Uh, it's usually for the month, but, you know, with me at least, and I know a few other people, we usually run late. I had mine in time, but this time it's going to run a little late. So, Cliff, please forgive me, brother. Just life got in the way here, and it was taking its pound of flesh from me, so I'm so far behind. It's just trying to catch up is just, you know, that's why I haven't uh, commented or on people's videos lately um, just or uploaded anything. I'm just so far behind. Um but you have that. You have Cliff, uh, his cancer awareness build. You also have uh, 
uh, Jamie Trantor, um, uh, he uploaded something up on the Facebook for Rubicon Models. Um, and he, uh, uh, Rubicon Models is doing a uh, group build. Uh, so if you have a YouTube uh, video or, or uh, you know, any forum or Facebook, you know, build that you're doing and you want to get involved in a, uh, the Rubicon Models uh, group build, I would imagine that it would have to be one of their models, the Rubicon Models. So you can go here, Rubicon Models Facebook page, upload your stuff there. But this is going to be mine. So I'm going to do this Tiger Offs E. You know, um, I'll probably do it in the colors that you see on here. I don't think that this, uh, the tiger was in uh, North Africa, but I could be wrong. And I'll have to take a look and see. Um, I believe the tiger was from 42 to 44. Uh, yeah. Only 1,300 were made. 1,347 were built between August of 1942 and August of 1944. The Ost E. The tiger, the early version. So I'll probably do the early version, and I'm gonna do a little um, looking around to see if there were any in uh, North Africa. Uh, it was Tiger One designated as the SD KFZ 181. Um, now I don't. I, yeah, this was all for the Soviets, so I don't think this was in. Um, yeah, I don't think this was in North Africa. But so if not, I'll just do a. Um, you know, like a winter camel, something like what Dredd is doing, you know, um, solving abuse UK right here. Um, he's doing a few um, for bolt action, but he's doing them in the, you know, with the winter camel on it. But this is mine right here. So that's my entry into that. The other one is, um, you have right here, Chris Cortell and Dirk Pitt have the Tom Daniels um, group build. Now, it could be any kit, from what I understand. From what I was watching the video yesterday from Chris, and he was explaining it, it can be any kit of Tom Daniels, a uh, car kit. Um, you can do it anything you want with it. You can modify it, whatever. So long as you start out with it being the kit, you know, you're using the kit. You can modify it, but it has to be that kit. So you can always go check out uh, Dirk Pitt right here or Chris Cortell, classic, classic 101 for the rules. But. Um, you know, I was looking for one to pick up, and I saw a couple on, on eBay, and we all know how those flea bays on, on eBay are, you know, the arm and a leg for them. And this kit here, and there's another one, and I can't remember which one it was. I think Chris mentioned it in a comment. It's like $400 people are asking for it. But this one is running anywhere from 25 bucks to 40 bucks. I found it at Hobby Town for $31.99. You figure by the time I get it shipped to me and all that, that's probably what I'm going to pay for it. Not only that, I don't mind, you know, uh, supporting Hobby Town every now and then. They're pretty good. They, as a matter of fact, uh, off my whole purchase, they gave me five bucks off. So so this is going to be my kit, and I'll have a, uh, a review of that once I open it up uh, sometime this week, and I'll show you what the sprues look like and all that. But this looks pretty good. I'm going to, um, with the chrome, I'm going to um, de-chrome it. I have some chrome back here, but also I want to use some of this. Um, this whole holomatic spectral chrome. Never used it before, so I want to try to see what that looks like. Um, let me see if I can get that in there so you guys can see that. This, um, it's, let's see, come on, you're not going to focus, are you? There it is, the holomatic spectral chrome. So, I've seen it used, it's got that, like, that um, rainbowish look to it. This is what I'm going to use for some of the chrome parts on this. I mean, it's it's just a it's a way out car. I'm gonna try to give it a a pretty cool paint job. I'm gonna stick with the blues and the golds, um, and the blacks, but for the chrome, that's what I'm gonna use. Um, you also, I mean, I, I I've been working on a few things. Um, been painting this little figure. Now I've shown her before all over Facebook. You guys know which one I'm I'm getting ready to show you. This little gal right here. Let me get her. Um, I got to touch up her eyes, but she's almost done too. A few little touch ups on the paint down here by her legs and stuff. And then uh, a little bit more blending around that little line by her butt cheek. But for the most part, she's done. Um, and a few little odds and ends. I did a, I did a couple of figures. Um, and I didn't 
Those were not uploaded because those were for a client, more so to speak. Um, not that I'm a comp, uh, commission painter. It's just somebody asked me to do them for them. And then two of my pieces were put. I took them over to um, the local games workshop. I asked me if I would, wouldn't mind putting a couple of them in there. So I don't have pictures of those either. Although I did take over uh, my um, that uh, statue that I did with the marble. But anyway, the other... Um, group build that I'm pretty excited about. It's actually it's a painting competition. Is this one right here? You got this one. Savage Forge Minis is having a painting competition of their figures. It's got to be a Savage Forge Mini. So this is what I'm going to do for that one. Is this one here? You got till July 31st to, or J January 31st to finish it. This one here is the one that I'm going to put in. This is one of their uh, figures. Savage Forge Mini. And what they're giving away is this ogre, and it's right here. Isn't that cool? Now, I don't pretend to think that I'm going to win that one because the guys that are going to get into this competition blow me away, but hell. Who knows? Maybe they got water in their eyes and they're rubbing it when they're giving a... <laughs> when they're voting. I don't know. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. If, not, if for anything else, just to support... Dennis and Savage Forge Minis. So you guys go check them out right here. Savage Forge Minis. Uh, they got their YouTube page. They also have a, uh, a Facebook page. And all the details on their uh, their uh, painting competition will be there. I want to thank each and every one of you also for all the the positive encouragement that we got over uh, for the show. Um, you guys uh, seem to uh, all agree that uh, the direction that we're going in um, and the uh, I got nothing but uh, positive feedback on it, and, and I thank you for that. I thank you for the support that we got over the week, you know, last week when we did the show, and um, it encour it's encouraging. I reached out already to a few people, you know, to see if they wouldn't mind coming on and be interviewed. Um, there's a couple of plane builders, some car builders, um, some figure painters, you know, that we want to have on and discuss, you know, how they got into the hobby, why they're in the hobby, what drives them, and where they see the hobby in the next I don't know, five, ten years. So that's, you know, that and some people with products and things like that there. The other thing I'd like to uh, uh, mention, and it's with a sad heart, is uh, Richard Willing, our brother Soul Tang. He was part of the Styrene Syndicate. He's with me in the show uh, last week. His father passed away. Um, I, we put something up on the Facebook page, uh, the Styrene Syndicate Facebook page, um, for people to, you know, express their condolences so I, I ask you all you know if you haven't done so already right here styrene syndicate uh facebook page uh and also i put it up on the red dragon model works facebook page if you uh, are so inclined to stop over there and let that brother know you know give him your condolences you know um i know where he's at a few people here that i know um close friends uh, subscribers um they've lost uh loved ones this year i have lost three and um, I know where he's at right now. So our hearts go out to you, brother. You know, I hope everything is, uh, if there's anything we can do, you know where we're at. Um, the other thing I'd like to, what was it? There was one more thing here, and I can't remember what it was. So um, again, I'd like to apologize for not uh, posting much or commenting a lot on, on, on videos and stuff. I'm watching them, brothers. It's just uh, I'm so far behind, you know, with, trying to restructure the syndicate, reaching out to people, taking care of the the other things that, man, you know, I watch them and I give a thumbs up. So if I'm not commenting, don't think for one minute I'm not watching them. It's just I'm trying to, I watch them in blocks and I'm trying to watch them all so I know when I see, you know, if I know what you're working on and, and try to support you in that way. Um, I'm going to have a, a, a speed build on the Tiger and I'm also going to uh, video the build on the paddy wagon so stick around for that guys i'll start working on it uh tomorrow monday and hopefully i can have uh, uh at least the, the tiger done and most of the paddy wagon done and then try to finish off the little odds and ends that i got here because you know the, the only reason i picked up these two and do doing that other uh the savage forge minis i'd like to um support them they've been good uh to this to this channel they've been good to me as you know as friends and and i'd like to support them other than that um you know, same thing with Cliff. You know, I have the car there. I started building it, but I had to put it off to the side. So that's another brother I, I you know, 
you haven't done it, check them out, man, uh, for that uh, cancer awareness bill. So with that, I'd like to wish you all, of course, this week being Thanksgiving. So I'd like to wish you all a um, happy Thanksgiving, a safe one. Uh, remember um, what the day's about. It's about giving thanks for that which we have. Um, also give thanks for your family, you know, that um, you have them all with you. Um, let's see, what else? And that's about it. So until we see each other again, brothers, you know, and probably won't be till after Thanksgiving, um, be kind to your, your children. Kind to your children. Love your families. Um, leave the drama to the queens. And brothers, build a model. And if not, paint a figure. Until then, happy Thanksgiving. I wish you and yours well. Red Dragon saying peace. Until next time.